didn't the entire history of humankind ever strike you as illogical? The documented history of human civilization is supposed to reach several millennia back into the past. And yet if we consider the rate at which civilization is supposed to have progressed, we encounter periods of obscurity and informational vacuum following the alleged decline of every ancient empire. And then everything starts anew. Inventions are presumed lost for centuries, then reinvented by people whose names bear suspicious semblance to those of the ancient inventors. Just how true all of this is? Could history as we know it really be a collation of several chronicles relating to one and the same period of time? Apparently, this is what the Russian mathematician Anatoly Fomenko claims. He is the author of the first volume in a series of seven that came out in English recently, and generated incredible controversy amongst professional historians worldwide. However, all of his work conforms to the highest academic standards and is backed by solid scientific facts. Furthermore, some of the most lucid minds of our time support many of the theories put forward by the authors. Gary Kasparov, the world chess champion, says the following in his preface to Volume 1. Documented history tells us of the insatiable need of human beings to make discoveries. The vector of technological progress is a strictly vertical one. Every ten years something happens, discoveries, sea voyages, explosions, everything keeps on changing. We see constant evolution, from Columbus to the landing on the moon, from crossbows to nuclear bombs. Forwards and upwards. However, the traditional ancient history tells us of periods when humanity apparently remained dormant for centuries. Ancient Egypt. The medieval Dark Ages whole epochs of utter stasis in human thinking. It appears that the inhabitants of ancient Egypt and Rome had a different genetic code, and couldn't be bothered about anything at all, so they froze in their development, the result being a total lack of innovative activity. At the same time, there had been prosperous ancient empires where those among Homo sapiens who possessed pensions for arts and sciences could get plenty of opportunities for growth and development. But, alas and alack, all of the prosperous ancient empires had ceased their development at some point. This book will change your entire perception of history forever. What if ancient Rome, Greece and Egypt were invented during the Renaissance? What if the Old Testament was a rendition of events in the Middle Ages? What if Jesus Christ was born in 1053 and crucified in 1086 AD? Sounds unbelievable? Not after you've read History, Fictional Science by Anatoly Fomenko, the leading mathematician of our time. We are accustomed quite well to thinking that the events described in the Bible, and especially in the Old Testament, date back to an epoch so distant that it can hardly be called historical in the usual sense. We seem to know everything there is to know about these times and these characters, in particular that most of them date to epochs preceding the new era by a couple of millennia, and that the events described in the Bible took place in and around the Middle East for the most part. Could all of what we know be untrue? Even the most scrupulous of scientists who ever had to tackle the gigantic array of data contained in the Bible were basing their research on the existing chronology. The sole exception to this is a group of mathematicians who have used the newest statistical methods to analyze the Bible from an altogether different standpoint, having revised the consensual chronology completely prior to that. The results are astonishing to say the least. We learn that the Biblical Jerusalem was in fact located on the Bosporus and known as Constantinople and that the Biblical kingdoms of Israel and Judah can be identified as the medieval Roman Empire. 
the familiar characters transform into the medieval doppelgangers which are a lot less familiar to us but known quite well to historians. This book will change your entire perception of history forever. What if ancient Rome, Greece and Egypt were invented during the Renaissance? What if the Old Testament was a rendition of events in the Middle Ages? What if Jesus Christ was born in 1053 and crucified in 1086 AD? Sounds unbelievable? Not after you've read History, Fiction or Science by Anatoly Fomenko, the leading mathematician of our time.